Hello, everyone. So let's get started, right? So when we hear about AI, we often think of uh, intelligent machines that talk like robots or even software programs that uh, will take over human, human jobs in production lines in the next decades. But do you believe me if I told you that we marketers can benefit from AI, uh, can benefit from AI in our marketing efforts? My goal today is to provide you with an overview with the hypest AI in marketing. Are you ready for it? So I will start this keynote by asking you a question, guys. How many applications uh, do you know in artificial intelligence? in marketing. Do you know already any? Have you used any? Is, is there anyone here listening that uh, can give me an answer to that? Because some of you might have heard of it, might have used some already or some not. So it might come new, it can, might come not so new. So Albert for Haley Davison, I hear here. Nice. This is like a general uh, example, a company that has used it, but we're going to talk about more general applications in this case. All right. So just to mention a few applications we have uh, that AI can help us with in our marketing efforts. We have smart content creation, um, sales forecasting, programmatic media meeting, ad targeting, lead scoring, dynamic pricing, predictive customer service, chatbots, AI generated content, voice search, and much more, right? Uh, some of these passwords that I've just mentioned might sound new to you. Not all marketers know about it, uh, but they're not far away at all from the most basic marketing tactics to predict marketing consumer behavior, provide effective consumer support, or great content generation. So are you ready to start with the first application? We're going to see some of these ones that uh, I just mentioned uh, right now. So the first one, let's have a, a closer look at the example of, um, I was going to talk about uh, chatbots first. Let's have a closer look at uh, chatbots. So they are powered by artificial intelligence, of course, and can help you with two relevant marketing goals that any company must have. Do you have any clue of which marketing goals are we talking about and how chatbots can help us achieve these two marketing goals? Any clues? They're basic. We can achieve these goals with any other tools that are not AI related, but AI will help us in a super automated and easy way to achieve these two goals. Do you guys have any clue? Well, I will give you a, a little hint, a little clue about uh, this question. We normally place these chatbots either on the website, on the homepage, or we connect them to our social media channels, right? This might give you a little clue of which two goals chatbots uh, can help us achieve. Well, it's two of them. It's basically customer support and lead generation. Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing customer support and helping companies all over the world generate new leads. But how does AI achieve this goal of generating leads, which every company always wants to be generating new leads? So they procure lead generation because at the beginning of each conversation uh, with the chatbot, they will ask for your clients or potential clients' emails. So before starting the conversation, we're going to acquire that later ready. Okay? Um, customer uh, support, um, because chatbots can also automate solving, um, solving uh, your, the problems of your potential uh, customers, right? So they have a problem, and instead of having a person behind uh, this chat or this email, you have a machine that is learning from the problems that all your customers have and providing answers, okay? I have been using chatbots for the clients of my agency for quite some time already, and they're very useful and then can automate these two marketing goals in a very easy way. So if I could recommend you my favorite tool, um, this is not sponsored, I, I don't get paid by them or I don't have any affiliate or commission for that, but Truly, honestly, I think it's one of the best uh, chatbots that can be implemented. Uh, could be Tidio. It's spelled T-I-D-I-O, 
right? So from now onwards, you don't have an excuse to say that you don't have enough resources or time to provide customer support because you don't have to hire someone. You just have to pay a monthly fee for having a, a bot running your customer service. So looking, looking into the next AI application into marketing, um, uh, I want to present it with a question. So how often you don't have enough resources to hire an expert writer to write the four blog posts a week that are needed to keep your website on the top of the main search engine? Or how tedious it is to create thousands of words of original content every week? I guess most of marketing managers can relate to this headache, right? So content generation is is a nice thing, but it's also a headache because we need to produce a lot of them constantly. So AI can generate content for us. And you're gonna ask yourselves, how? Yeah. Um, some tools uh, can generate 100% original content. So it has never written before. It doesn't appear on the, on, on the web. Yeah, it doesn't appear on Google. From a series of data and very basic parameters that you set yourself, for example, such as keywords, length of the piece, where in which channels you want to distribute it, etc. This is already this marketing application of AI is already being used by international media outlets such as Forbes, right? So what are you waiting for to use it? It can make your life way, way, way easier. So as I always like to recommend some some tools, right? Um, the one that I've been using for quite a while, it's called um, Articolo. So A-R-T-I-C-O-L-O. -O -O. Uh, there is no free trials for any tools. Uh, it's still a product and a tool in general, not this one, but all of them that is under development. These machines still need to learn uh, quite a lot from past uses, etc. So they're not perfect, but they can help you write social media posts, blog posts, uh, press releases, any type of, of content that you need to generate. Okay. So they still serve its initial purpose of creating content, but they can still be improved. It's quite a new application. All right. Although some major companies are, are using it already. So next application. Um, Voice search. Voice search is super, super interesting in this case. Um, did you know that the use of voice search is gaining ground over major search methods? Major search methods meaning Google, for example. Yeah. Uh, it has been predicted by, that by next year, 2021, between 30% and 50% of all searches will be through a voice device. All right. That means that our customers and our potential customers might find us through AI devices such as Siri, Alexa, Google Home, amongst others. This is a major trend and we need to pay attention and it's powered by AI, yeah? So as you may already know with search engine optimization, ranking at the top of the search engine means everything. Being on the first result means everything because that means that's gonna generate traffic to your website and convert potential customers. But are companies ready to appear in the first three results of a voice assistant? Um, I don't think so. They're not. Most companies are not taking this parameter into account in their marketing strategies. So hence the importance of brands and companies to starting to prepare and design their based voice search optimization strategies. This is a new word that we're gonna be hearing quite a lot in the next years, right? voice search optimization rather than search engine optimization. So this involves optimizing content and location and brand information to increase the likelihood of driving voice search results. We could have a whole keynote uh, about voice search optimization, maybe uh, next time, but it's definitely super interesting because the percentage of, of, of searches is gonna be mostly there, right? So it's crazy how technology, especially AI, is changing the way we're marketing products and services, right? Well, then 
wait for the next AI uh, marketing application that will solve most of your headaches as marketers. And that's sales or demand forecasting, right? Let's assume, assume or take for granted, because in my case, it might be like that, uh, that every marketer, every marketer headache relies on sales or demand forecasting. Well, I don't know if you know, but if not, I'm telling you that AI can predict the potential demand of your product or service by using past sales data, industry-wide comparisons and economic trends. It can also forecast sales outcomes and help companies to make key business decisions and predict short and long-term performance. Guys, this is great. A machine, an intelligent machine being able to forecast your demand so you can organize your stock in case you have a product or a service, it's great. So you can plan ahead, right? So guys, we have seen that AI can automate customer support, lead generation, convert potential customers on voice search, forecast demand and sales and much more. What are you waiting for it? just time to start implementing these applications to make your life easier as a marketer. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this keynote about how to optimize your marketing efforts with artificial intelligence. And thank you for listening. If you have any questions, don't be shy. Now it's the time to ask. If you come up with a question later on, which happens very often, you can reach me out uh, at the email below, marta at dopenessagency.com, or take a picture to the QR code, which is going to lead you to my LinkedIn and send me a message there with any question you might have. I'll be happy to be connected there with you.